Howard Phillips Lovecraft, and a writer seldom chooses to stop writing. More often than not, their career is ended by a lack of popularity, a sudden illness, or indeed death. In my case, it was a combination of all three. But every now and then, a writer is afforded the opportunity to choose the manner and time of their retirement, and such is the case with the subject of today's question, Mr. Alan Moore, the comics books writer who we discussed previously in our episode on The Watchmen and all of its strangeness. But this is not his only title, as those of you will know. He, of course, wrote The League of Extraordinary Gentlemen, V for Vendetta, and several titles inspired by my own work, The Courtyard, Neonomicon, and more recently, Providence. But of all of his creations, I think the one that's most fascinating is the creation of Alan Moore himself. I mean, you just have to look at this man with his impossible beard, his mad, captivating eyes, and his charming brogue, and beyond that, the myth that he has crafted about himself, his eccentricities, his fascination with Thelemic magic, it all swirls together into this wonderful illusion where you're never quite sure if he truly believes all of this, or if he's having you on, and within that delicious ambiguity, he is able to unite true believers and skeptics to come together in praise of all that he has done and assured that he never has to pay a bar tab ever again, just like that other great shaman, Alistair Crowley. So, well done, Alan Moore. Uh, I understand that this is only a retirement from comic books, and I look forward to what else you write. But regardless, when you do continue to write, try to be a bit less fixated on the genitals of my monsters. It's a bit alarming. As always, I'm Howard Phillips Lovecraft. Thank you.